I have often heard it said that having grain in a bin was that like having money in the bank. Well, I have to really argue with that because uh, uh, that money in the bank is preserved and not going to deteriorate. But grain in a bin still requires management uh, or it will deteriorate and uh, and you'll uh, lose your investment. So, uh, yes, a, a grain storage has been a valuable tool for us. I don't know how we managed without it, but it does require management. You can't put the grain bin and forget about it till you want to sell it, or you're liable to come back when you start loading out and find some surprises that you don't like. When you go to the elevator, the elevator is providing labor. The basis that they're charging, you know, they do, they earn some of that, and it's just only when they get out of line with their basis that, but when you, when you put, when you have a bin, you you have to provide all the labor, and uh, there is some labor involved. We don't have an automated system. We'd like to eventually get to an automated system. But we put it in with the augers and take it out with the augers, and it is time-consuming. The loading out, we, we, we can load out 3,000 bushels an hour. Those two bins hold 80,000 bushels, so you do the math. You're not going to do it in a day. It takes several days. Sometimes you can't get but two or three trucks, so it's uh, not an instant deal. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of labor involved. You do have to do the maintenance and make sure that it's able, able to perform. It's not free and it's not easy, but, but there is some gain. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you're, you're working, but you're getting paid for your work. We're gaining. Last year, everything we went into bins, we, we had a 40-cent gain without speculation. We just had a 40-cent gain on basis and, uh, and the carry on the month then we were fortunate enough to gain on stuff we had not sold for the spring price.